There's there's three of us. You ready? All right, let's call to order. Two oh one. Roll call. Uh, Mr. Badoon. Here. Mr. Hopa. Here. Mr. Walker. Here. Uh, Mr. Christensen. Is he absent? Uh, you don't know if he's, he's downstairs. I I don't know. Okay. He temporarily, if he shows up later, we just in it that they show up. All right. Okay, everybody's got their agenda. You didn't get one? I don't know. Where's it at? Um, here. Here you go. I'm sorry. Here you go. Did you get one? Yeah, I got it, but I can't find it right now. Happy with it? I am. Yep. Hey, do we have a motion to approve it? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, public comments. You can you can sit there if you'd like so we can get Yeah, and then have to speak in that speaker there. Hopefully the microphone will pick it up. I know you're fine, but just everything. My name is Danette Amy, and I'm not really sure if I should just be speaking to you guys or to the next meeting. We'll see. But I would like to propose for the county a series of workshops on um, native plants for food and medicine. And the reason I'm here to speak to you is that one of the plants that I would like to teach about is I always get it at Veronica Park. Um, and my background is, you don't want to know all my background. Um, I, I learned ethnobotany from a lady who received her PhD in ethnobotany, which is the use of traditional plants by Aboriginal peoples. Um, she, was, she received her PhD from the University of Michigan and went on to become a professor there at New in Ann Arbor and also at University of Wisconsin. So my, teach, my teachings came from her. Um, and so um, that's why I'm here. Am I supposed to be here? <laughs> oh. If you've got a proposal for food plots, right? Is that what you? I couldn't quite hear you. I'm sorry. Should I proposal for what? I um, would like to do a series of workshops. Workshops. Workshops teaching traditional native plants that grow around here for food and medicine, and one of them grows specifically at Park. Uh What's nice to have, and not that, it's nice to have your plan and idea written down of what you plan to propose, and then I would take it and uh, submit it for us to read for our next month's meeting. This way we can take it home and all your ideas and stuff are on it instead of, because this is just during public comment and we can't really question you about anything. Okay. Um, so if you had something that you want to do and you want to hand out and you want it, and then you ask to be put on the agenda, okay. and then we have an agenda, and then we all have a copy, okay. and then we know, then you get to talk all you want. Usually a comment is only like three minutes, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not a bad idea if it's written mm -hmm. out well. Yeah. These are the ones that I'm doing in other areas this summer. Um, you'll see there's April, May, June, July, blah, blah, blah. Um, but certainly there are many others. Um, foraging is a big one. People love foraging workshops. Just 
take them out and show them what's there. I think it's excellent, but nowhere here does it say you want a workshop. Okay. You follow me? Yeah. It would say, okay, Mr. Board, I propose we have a workshop. I would like authorization to present workshops, la da 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 yada yada. And at our meeting this afternoon, one of us can suggest that we had a comment and she would like to be on next month's agenda to discuss it. And then we can put it as an agenda item. And it's nice to have your name and what you're going to do. This is a good plan of stuff that you want to do, but. Well, that's just once and I'm already set up to do another location. I think it's a good idea, but. There's lots of fun stuff. And we have to know who you are, how big of a group. It's the government, but. Do you plan on doing it every day, bring a school bus in once a month, uh, that kind of stuff. There are events that are permitted. I might be taking this away from you, but no, that's not fine. you want to have a plan, and then we look at them, and then we we think it's a good idea, and it fits in, and we got land, and sometimes we don't. Mm -hmm. These are parks, but. Parks are good. Oh, yes. it's, it's interesting. Well, three o'clock is when we have our main meeting today. You can bring it up. Yeah. Otherwise, you could propose to be on the agenda for next month. And that's what we'll try doing. Yeah. For Brown Township or for Parks and Rec? Parks and Rec. Yeah. And they'll tell us what to do sometimes. Yeah. Okay. But you would want your name and everything and have it in ahead of time so it can be posted with attachments. And then you can Talk get with her. Call planning. Planning. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. It has to Thank have you. everything on it that you want to do. Okay. All right. I can do it. Okay. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Could you spell your name? I didn't get it. My first name is Stanette. S, like in Susan. T A N E T T E. And just to confuse you, my last name is Amy. A M Y. Okay, Amy Stanett. No. <laughs> no. S T A N E T T E. E T T E. All right. Are you a resident of Cleveland County? I no. No. Um, my cro I I have eleven acres. Um, but I live down. But I come up here all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Staff? Any staff comments? All right. Uh, approval of February 5th of meeting it. The uh, meeting we had February 5th. We're all good with that, the minutes. I read them. I'm good with it. I make motion we approve it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Discussion items. I'm assuming Savin Lake, that thing has been taken care of. Yeah, I was, ho I was hoping Steve would be here to give some detail mm -hmm. because he's been kind of in the loop here. And right. But last week we had an updated contract. Because mm -hmm. The actual contract that had been sent the first time had my name in one place. It had county commission as the customer instead of the county. Mm -hmm. We got those things corrected. That was emailed here. And the invoice for the permit fee. Mm -hmm. I was wrong at the last meeting when I thought the permit fee was included in 2425. But it's not. It's 250. Um, but Steve got possession of both. Okay. They'd already been in touch with finance. They were ready to, whoever, ready to pay the, the invoice on the permit okay. immediately, which is the critical timing of it right now. Right. So at this moment, uh, I'm presuming that's run through. Okay. I haven't heard from Steve. Um, we had 
back and forth in multiple conversations last week, so I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's happened. Okay. That's Did you say it's 250 for the permit? Yeah. It's, been, it's, it's submitted to a county for payment? Yes. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when is this month's full commission meeting, county commission, is not until tomorrow? Today. Today. Are you talking about the parks? No, county commission. Uh, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, 9.30. That's, that's the board of commissioners meeting next Tuesday morning at 9.30. Well, I'm only presuming, again, from the conversation with Steve, that he's ready because he has to be there anyway with right. the family authority issues. Uh, he's ready to shepherd the approval of the contract okay. through the full commission. Because even though the contracts below our, our dollar value, if there was a meeting, uh, uh, bids and all that sort of thing, it's still a contract. Mm -hmm. So the county commission has to approve it. Um, and it may be that he found out Again, I thought it, as of yesterday, it was going to be here anyway. Um, but it may be that you found out that the finance county won't actually pay that uh, permit fee until the full contract is approved by the, uh, by the commissioners. Commission. Okay. Uh, Seven knows that. I mean, I've been in my communications with them and indicated that it's a government process. We mm -hmm. got to go through. Three steps at least over two weeks at a minimum. Mm -hmm. But we're on their list. With, I, I, I don't think there's any issue there. Right. And yeah, we'll stay on top of it. Yeah, they know it's coming. Cool. If I could, I'll add the additional that I wanted to share. Okay. Uh, I did send you each an email. It was just an ortho photo, earth photo of the ponds. Got it right here. That's just. For your reference right now, this is nothing to sort out today, but what I want to do is come to an agreement as best we can where we want to leave weeds, where we want to spray, where we want to leave it. I want to present that to seven, three weeks before, so late May. Uh, our idea of where we think we should be open market. In talking with them, I know there's going to be a limit to how finally we can spot tree because stuff spreads right now would heather from dnr be good to have with that process you know she would be good especially in terms of uh well helping with this mapping where, where do we want where do we think we want to leave these where do we want to open area now yeah i'd love to have I don't know if Heather gets involved in upland. I think she's only involved if it's on a stream bed or water surface. Well, and the other thing is I know I won't get it. I won't get it there. Yeah, she's, she's she busy. Will come. And the day, the day they're going to be here to do it is going to be scheduled last minute. I just don't think they can get it there. Now, you three, I mean, anybody else, I'm certainly going to be there. That'll be top priority um, to make sure that we minimum mm -hmm. but that's the stage of the whole staff thing right now we don't have to decide that we should even take your time to talk about where to spray now etc mm -hmm. i sent that picture just so you all have one freshly in your computers if you want to stare at it. yeah I'm, I'm actually using it for a different item so thank you dave i trust you 100 percent to take care of what you want, where you want, and what you did, and you know how to do it. If you put a plan in front of me, I wouldn't know what I was approving, what I wasn't without driving around there. And I trust you anyway. It's my, it's my two cents that if you want to spray, we can say go ahead and do it. You've done it before, and you know what to do, And but it would take months for us to go that and take it to that committee and do this and do that. Right. And yeah. You know how no, it works. I, 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 again, I mostly sent you the email photo, so you go ahead and look Yeah, yeah. And I'll probably just give you each a call, you know, as we get into May. Just what, what are your thoughts, et cetera. 
because then Sam will tell, tell us, as, and I want them to see some idea of what we want before they come. Because mm -hmm. they'll say, well, let's give this a break. That's pretty fine too. You know. We spray over here, it's going to drip over here. Right, right. I right. want to ask him to explain this. It's pretty. But Heather, I'm glad you brought Heather up because I haven't talked with her yet specifically about this year's plan. And she'll have some sense of the uh, fight against algae versus fraud. But I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make sure that it comes in the conversation. Yeah. yeah, she'll be here next, next month. <coughs> Dave, that map you gave us, that shaded green is where you would like so control weeds? No, I haven't done anything. I just sent you the picture. Of home. Okay, I was just looking yeah, at green that, along the foot. That's, uh, that's my mark on there. Oh. The highlighted part. That's what I put on there. Well, anyway, yeah. Okay. So I'll, go at it. But I'll keep this out of committee as much as possible. Check with you by phone or email at some point. But this is going to be, I want to finalize this in mid May, so we got time. And Alan, I think last year he was teaching fly casting, and the autumn olive was in his way. Cut them down. They're there. Cut. Last year. But uh, when are they talking about uh, spring? Uh, no, when? Well, at least in the fourth Okay. And uh, I, I, I wanted to show you. Uh, so uh, these two weeks before, this is the you know, because, well, you know, Brian and his son Jason, they always went out and went cut weeds. Brian has frozen about three weeks ago, and I don't know if he's going to be available to do that. And I had to line up Boy Scouts to come and help, uh, help also, you know. So I'm assuming, well, I need. Will we need to remove weeds, like go out and break them and get them out of there? Or do you well, have that answer? We won't need to. I'm anticipating the big problem will be algae. I don't know that for sure. That's based on some comments from that earlier. Okay. Um, that sinks. You don't think that. Um, the one thing we may want to do, I learned is get into a bag of pellets that help the algae disintegrate uh, without taking up so much oxygen out of the mm. um, that's a that's not a license that's not a control product mm. so it's not going to invite us back and we can spread the pellets um, I, I just need to know as far as if we need to line up a work crew that'll keep you yeah yeah you know, part of the problem is we won't know we grow and therefore well how many weeds might there be if we had to we won't know that so the water warms up to a certain point when it does. So it's it's all going to be somewhat less. Alan, don't That's count good. don't count on Brian or Bugham. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, which kind of ties into the kids' fishing event. Okay. We're pretty much Heather. I talked to Heather. She says, "Don't need any help." Just check when needed. That's that's what I got from Heather. So that makes me happy that when she says, don't need your help, just have your checkbook when, when it's needed. So yeah, and I know she was trying to get a hold of Dan to, to finalize costs this mm -hmm. year. And, I, and I, as I said before, I think you guys just need to know if there's going to be any surprises like last year. And, and I, I, no one anticipates that. We haven't got a final figure on it, but the the, the gist of, of that price increase uh, due to a number of factors has already been felt, and this year, no one's in. I, I mean, that's going to be about the same. Uh, so I know you're going to have to, you know, Rob from here to pay all on, on, on that. And from the kids fishing uh, day committee standpoint, I would like association to keep separate out with all of our money and somehow we went it we ended last year with I, you, I, I think I sent you guys a financial report I'm pretty sure but anyways it's, it's somehow we ended up with exactly the same amount within the hundred dollars 
of what we went into it last year. So, you know, we incurred a lot of that increased cost also, and uh, and we were uh, uh, we were able to uh, with, uh, with the help of our supporters, we were able to uh, offset that, and uh, mainly because I, you know, I didn't put an extra zero on everyone's bill, and I asked them all to pull me up another 20, 25 percent, and, and they virtually all did. No one, no one argued a bit on it. It continues to be a, a wildly uh, ex, uh, uh, accepted and, and appreciated event. Um, if we can get the fish to bite this year, I think that will help. And, and I talked to the, the guys and they worked through Heather, and that's a guarantee. Have you found the symbol? I still. Okay, we're done with that one. We'll go to the the repairs and improvements for the park as far as are we going to mess with that deal with the bridge or are we still debating whether or not we're going to fix that gap do we want to do anything john and i talked about it and i will um i will um try to find out from the county who presented that review and John mentioned he thought it was an insurance company's review. It's MMRA, MRM, the, the county's um, insurance company. It was the risk assessor. Yeah, the risk yeah. assessor. It was. Yeah. He wrote a whole report. I think you guys have it. I've, I've got the report and all that. Yeah. Didn't have time to look at it. We just got to determine whether it's a finding or a recommendation. You know, sometimes insurance companies say it'd be nice to have lights outside and so you don't go up and down the stairs. It'd be nice for this. And if it's a finding, then we've got to state it and we got to then say we're going to fix it. And then you either got to get back to the insurance company or not. So we're going to do a little more research here with that. The, the characteristics of the bridge are um, that it is 43 inches high off the ground and the requirements are 42 inches. There are one by six railings and they're, they're five and a half and the space between is five and a half. The allowance is no spaces more than four inches vertically or horizontal. Um, an approach is to run a cable through the steel post in between, which cuts that in half. So that's the easiest way that I know of. But I told John that I would check to see um, if that, um, I don't know how to say it, if that is a ruling and we don't do it, and something happens, that's not good. If it's not a ruling, I'll try to find out more where that ruling comes. But a little more research. Mm -hmm. Yep. All I can say is I was there, of course. His language did, was not strong enough to suggest it was a finding. Well, the word suggestion. Yeah. I, I can't yeah. say that for sure. Right. I think the key word is would be liability. If the key, if there was a word liability anywhere, then that would be something we'd have to be concerned about. Yeah, that was the part. Yeah. And that was the main liability issue we brought up. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and the concern is, is a pretty easy fix. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll follow through and try to come back at, at the next month's meeting. Okay. So we're not just I'm passing it off and passing it off. Right, we can address it. Right. So you want to carry this to the next one? Yeah, we'll carry this up to the next one. And um, we don't need to bring it up at the, at the 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. No, we'll just say we're still looking into it. Yeah. Next item. Oh. Uh, are we done with the budget review? Oh, no. I was going to tie the two together. John, All right. I think there is something on the Parks and Rec agenda, though, where they want to keep bringing back that risk assessment and then finding out where you are at. Oh, okay. You know, Excuse me. You know, addressing yep. all those issues. Okay. 
I want to talk a little bit about budget and repairs. Okay. We've got authorization at our last parks to go ahead and buy a ladder. So that's already been done. Well, it hasn't been purchased that I know of. So we got authorization for that. Today, I, at this meeting, I'd like two motions to take to our three o'clock meeting. I'd like to have one motion, and this isn't a motion yet. One item I want to pass to them is for Scott or someone to go purchase all the split rail fencing and fence posts that's fallen down. Some of that stuff is broken. It's a hazard. Uh, some is standing up. Some is rotten. God, it's been there since. It's been there since it was a driving range, hasn't it? Uh, so I'd like to pass on a parks and rec, and Scott can go take a trailer and go pick that all up. And we just have to I say. You heard his name. There he is right there. And uh, so I'd like that motion. The other motion I'd like to have, I'll make a motion. And the other I'd like to discuss is to buy the material to repair that sign. I already got it. Good. <laughs> then we don't need a motion. <laughs> what about the fence post? I want to. I, I think we should get authorization for you to go ahead and get that. Or do you need authorization? Maintenance. That's maintenance. That's going to be a little sum then, right? Yeah. I guess we don't need two action items. Less than that. So we'll say Scott's on that. Okay. You don't need authorization or a prod or anything? <laughs> prod. Okay, we'll make a motion for a prod. The other one, the other one, Scott, I would like to... The third one is to have the board authorize us to find somebody to go put it in with a cost not to exceed. And I'm not going to go into that 26 page uh, contract type of thing. <laughs> and I'll, I'll find somebody, I'll see what an estimate is, and they say, yeah, I can fix this sign for that or I can fix that, and then come back to the board. But uh, I guess I would like, how can we word it? Uh, Motion to recommend to the Parks and Rec Commission to find someone to install the split rail fence yes. and the park sign. Yes. Good words. It's a long motion. Uh, Just fix the get sign. Steve on motion. Oh, it's got his <laughs> okay, so you got a motion by Popa. I need a second. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. Okay. Anything else on the maintenance there? Then? Scott, we got to bring up anything else in front of Parks and Rec to yeah, um, buy something? We got an invoice from Seven for the Eagle permit. Oh, so I didn't want to send that along because I didn't know where Steve was with the other invoice for the spray. So there's a cost. There's a cost of five hundred dollars or something to fill out for no, Eagle. Remember, it's two twenty-five. Okay, it's a minor project. Yeah. And then Steve had the other invoice, and just gonna. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Do we need Do we need authorization for something that small? Well, I didn't want to just turn it in and have it paid. The other one was gonna get shot down for some reason. Okay. That may be the, again, the last word I had from Steve last week that came to hear was that that may not get paid until the full contract is approved just because they're pieces of the same, even though they're two different bills, they're pieces of the same piece. So, so we may need to amend that contract to include all the other added? No, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, we just have to bring an item up at the Parks and Rec at 3 o'clock to authorize payment to seven. We don't need a motion here. To authorize pay, payment to seven, seven lakes? Seven, seven lakes, lakes, yeah. Uh, to be reimbursed 
for the eagle permit whenever it comes. It might not come until whatever, but if they go ahead and do it, we got to. Is that what you're asking, Scott? Yeah. Yeah. Stephen told me that in talking with, I don't remember the woman saying in the accounting department, that she was ready to pay this the minute the other thing was included. Um, that's the status I know. I thought Steve would be good to him. And he, was, he had both of these come in last Thursday. He got them, and he was going to be talking to the accounting about them before the weekend or the week or so. so I think it's moving. Oh, correct. Yeah, apparently it's that's going from BOC. So. Mm -hmm. Scott, did you buy that ladder? No. Do you have intentions to buy it? Because <laughs> <laughs> you've been authorized. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> Um, one thing I'd like to add, when I took a walk around the park with the guy from Elmers, I noticed the throw rings, that little rope that goes around the throw rings, most of them are broke. I don't know if we can just do that ourselves, buy some nylon rope and do that. I don't know if there's a, a process to where it's got to be approved by organization or not. I don't know. You can go out and do it. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if I want to, if I'm violating a, an ordinance by doing it myself or something, so I can do it myself. He needs help. Just do it. Oh yeah, I don't have a problem doing that. Anything else on the item number three? And the item number four, pick stuff for our five-year plan. I gave you this little map that I stole from Dave, um, and what's yellowed out is the estimate that I have from Elmer's to. He said an eight foot wide is UA approved, not six foot like some people say. But anyway, he gave an estimate to do that eight foot wide path where it's yellowed out for that amount of 48,000. That is, that's a hefty amount. That's all the green line? The, the yellow line. Yellow line? Yeah. Yellow, yellow. Yeah, we went out there one day and we, we walked it. He, he let me know that uh, the grade has to be 2% or less. So there would be some, have to uh, take some of the mounds down a little bit. And, uh, but that's what he come up with as far as an estimate. And that's to go around the ponds and then up a little portion to go up to the bridge on each side. One of the things I suggested to Keith on the phone, I know I'm interrupting here, but we're just a I didn't hear you. Uh, I think that pond, uh, that pathway around the pond might be a good project for a 2% application. 2% grant from the tribe, 48000 and way out of your budget. I don't know that, of course. Um, but all along, as we began talking about this last year, I thought, well, that first loop that goes across the bridge and around might be a good, and even presented to them in phases because. I knew from some of the other grant work I've done, grantees often like to see a big project divided into phases and they can do it in two smaller donations or work. Mm -hmm. But um, you might want to think about that. Yeah, we could, we could break that up into a five year plan as to do from like the bridge to the parking lot loop and then the next loop, which would be bigger loop, and do that route. I bet you get a trust fund on that. I bet you could get a trust fund grant on that. Oh, what? I'm not, not going to guarantee it because then I'm going to have to pay for it. <laughs> uh, you can get a trust fund grant for that. It's got everything that, that they're looking for. It's got the handicap feature. It's got the kids' fishing feature. It's already, they've already invested into that part. And they're putting more money, that trust fund is putting more money into development than it used to for acquisition. It's changed priorities. You're talking about a DNR trust fund? Yes. I think you're right. I wouldn't break it up, Alan. I would. No, I I'd go for the whole thing. thing. And you do the forty-eight thousand, and it'd take you a year, but you can pull it right out. You wouldn't have to draw for all the county's capital expenses. 
the issue with the, deep, the trust fund grants, I think, still remains that Veronica is not in an urban area and it's in Leland County. And both of those <laughs> are strikes against the application, yeah. particularly the urban area. Uh, unless the applications change, could well have done that. But in the two years we went for it, it was a category of like 44 points or something, which is a huge number of points, that we couldn't even check any box because we had to be in an urban area. So it was 44 possible points or whatever it was. It just wasn't in our ballgame. Mm -hmm. we, we couldn't even go for it. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's a reasonable idea. You know, to, to go it. It's much work. Um, and I, I can make a phone call and rather than sit here and just and just ask them. Okay. Yeah, and you're, 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 you know, I might be. I, I, I just. Well, and, and they may well be very encouraging of going along. I just know from our past experience, mm -hmm. those two two things were big strikes against us getting the numbers we needed to get up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please so, do. You know, Okay, and, Paul, and then you can, you can, this could be the alternative. If we get, if we get the gift from, you know, from Lansing, then save money. I like the idea of 2% though also. I do too. Uh, who writes them? That's the tribe, isn't it? 2%. Yeah, yeah but. The previous grants were written by Bill Watson. I have not. I told Keith I would but talk, that, talk to him before today. He's the one who is going to still have the goats there. Last year's 2% money that we did get have not been totally spent. Those will be spent, finished up this season. <coughs> Bill Watson, only can, all he can do is give me some sense of the application process. Because in the case of those 2% money, he filled it all out. Bill Watson filled out a 2% application? The whole thing. Where's he? Well, he's with Youth Works, which is under Children and Family Services, um, and uh, I just haven't done it. I told Keith I should speak with him about this idea and get some sense of how practical it is. I haven't yet done that, I will. So if we go to our next meeting, we should say we should apply for it, and Dave is going to work with Keith, or Keith's going to work it? We're, we're, I, this monkey is jumping around the room. Now the deadline right now, if you were to do this, is May, and I, I, I'm going to be gone a chunk, a big chunk of April. I don't know that I want to be part of the application filling out, but I'll find out what's involved because then the next, the next cycle would be November's application, which I think is more reasonable. I don't mind November, and we can put it in the, the following year's budget, just by the way things move here. Uh, but we got a pretty good estimate. We can ask for the two percent and give us time to. That's me talking, I guess. Yeah, that, yeah, and I may find out more about that application process and be able to jump in and, and help. Right. Actually build it up. Uh, I just don't know. Yeah, I and mean, of course, this will have to go to a bidding. Um, I just asked Elmer's to just give me a number without you know a whole lot of looking into it. So this right here, obviously that have to go into a bidding process and I'm assuming they know that. Your input why the grading needs to be at least ten because we grew them at ten feet. Okay. For skiing. If we ever get winter again. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it's home not, but well not this the, the, the orchard people are not wanting this kind of weather. Um Okay. So do you want us to come back to the meeting next month for a follow-up? Do you have a meeting date for April? Are we doing regular meetings? Yeah, April is supposed to be April. So every, what is it, every third Wednesday, or every first Wednesday? Every first Wednesday at 2 o'clock is our meeting, Veronica meeting, 3 o'clock is going to be ours. I think the first Wednesday is the third. Mm -hmm. It's and always I, the same. And I meeting. reach that day, so I won't be here. Okay. What's going on with the spring goats? The two percent monies were for uh, automatic removal. They did some last fall, but the goats didn't come. They're coming back because Bill was awarded that grant money, and it has not been spent. But he's assured me the goat people are coming back. So we're going to have goats out there chewing. Um, <laughs> at 
some point. Who's in charge of the boat? Well, they are. The critical thing from our side of it is that somebody has to be there. Scott should be there. I'll be there. But others um, to say, eat here, don't eat here. Don't eat these things. <laughs> We got trees planted. Yeah, they eat Tom Adams will be with, needs to be walk around as well to decide where they put the goats. They bring them in every morning, electric fence around them. Oh, somebody's there the whole day. They take them away to their overnight stay. So there's really no management that we have to get into. Okay. To do that. Yeah. The, the real management is deciding. I need all this stuff, but don't need over here. Right. Looks like they might eat all these violets and garlic mustard and dandelions and even frizzles and blackberries and yarrow, though. It could be a problem. Uh, <laughs> Competing with the goats. And I think they cover, I gotta be careful here, because it was two years ago I did the walk around with them. I think it's gonna be five acres five to seven acres that they choose where they eat and they fence it off okay. they do the daily management um, and no they will never be just left there right but they do like patrol it so you know some little kid doesn't come up and grab the electric fence well, yes they only do it once <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, real quickly back to that path yeah. Without getting into that five-year plan, these ADA paths were discussed quite a bit when they came up with what it was going to cost to put all these signs out and bird washing stations and all this other kind of stuff. But I thought we decided not to make a path that was ADA, that we had enough in the park going down to the pond and a regular footpath with stones so wide and whatever would be a lot more economical. But do we, we don't have to resolve it today, but I don't know if ADA was taken out of that five-year plan, not five-year plan, that improvement plan, Dave, you remember? I said, here's our glorified plan. We need better outhouses. We need pavilions. We need a better dock around the water. And we're picking away at it. But I thought we dropped off. We did buy signs. I think you were involved in signs. But I don't know if we agreed to put ADA around there. And we don't have to. I have vaguely the same memory that our discussion with John and Yes. We're just going to do a good, solid, serviceable part. Right. Chipstone. Right. Right. And not necessarily worry about the ADA. That, that's, how I, that's how I assumed it. And this bid for 30, or not bid, estimate, estimate. 30, 30 grand. It's high because you got to have two percent, and you got to have a slope, and it's got to be eight, ten feet instead of six feet. Uh, so we're going to keep. I think we should keep that in mind. I'm not. All our past doesn't have because that'll sit out there sometimes, and no one's going to ever use it. They will walk on it, though, and they will walk around it. But I'm not sure. Well, we've added enough for uh, width for one wheelchair. Goes one way. Mm -hmm. Rather than wide enough for this. Still providing a good service. Yeah. Um, now, the one thing to keep in mind if you start going from state grants, you got to be UA. Mm -hmm. To go from what? Well, for a state grant. Oh, a grant. if you're going to apply for an ADA grant, it's going to have to approve stuff. So I don't think well, we have. I don't, a, think, that I don't think we have a chance in heck for a state grant. Yeah. However, yeah, doesn't someone's going to gonna check in on. Yeah, but the five-year plan does show a lot of ADA on the paths and yeah. stuff. So we would have to change. We would have to not go with the five-year current five-year plan. Change it to just path. Yeah, that plan was in the millions of dollars. Yeah. Well, I mean that cost right there just to go around the park, the ponds is. Pretty, pretty hefty. Um, I'd speak to that a bit. I checked out the scale of the dimensions on here and hard time understanding how they got only 2,400 feet. Um, and 
I would look at running the ADA requirement around the slave. We've already got it down to the pond here, wrap it around this corner, go over the bridge and back and and that I feel that that's would be, something to consider. Yeah, that breaking would be it a up. possibility. Gives them access all the way around the band path. It's a loop circulation. Um, and it, that could be a good start. It'd be a good start and the rest be nice hard surface. Yeah. yeah. That's something to consider. Anything else to add to our our work on the five year plan or anything uh, else? I did. We talked about this. We talked about this before, and at one time we talked about having a covered sheltered area. And I'll bring that up. This was something that was drawn at one time when we had discussed the barrier-free toilets being in that space. But I think this can be well used to have a covered area. It's a little bit larger than a two-stall garage. Could have a presentation board at one end, couple, and would hold without tables up to 60 people. Um, and I think that would support, you know, if a coach comes with a cross-country team, they get there and talk about that. Or if it's raining a little bit, then people could still use it. So I would would like us to look at that. And if there is interest, then I would find out some prices. Okay. Do you have a copy for me? For that? I, I got it in my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have to bring it up there when I start talking. But we're not going to have bathrooms in there. No. That's why he's got omit. John and I talked about this. I think it's time to move forward. And uh, after John comes back with some estimates, I would later on, either next month or whatever, get an engineering drawing. And with that engineering drawing, this is what it's going to look like. You got to pay for that. Then you want the bids. Right. So John's got a good idea. We've talked about this a lot. Keep it simple. We need a pavilion out there. And part of it's in that plan, a yep. pavilion. And uh, it will get used a lot. And going out for bids for engineering is no. something that maybe is tolerable. We can do that. But I think the people that supply those, like Butler, for example, will come out and and they do that. And then well, they, they have an engineer the drawings on those things. That's just a name. There's a lot of to do so. If you like, I will get some drawings and an estimate. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'll add, that, I'll add that for next month. Okay. Good. Can I just add to that? That would really help us with King's Fishing because we're, we rent that big old tent every year to one of our biggest expenses. Yes. If we had a place to keep people dry yep. uh, without having to rent a tent, we could put more money into that event itself. So. Okay. Good idea. So if you need a reason, so you need another smaller. factor, you go to so the smaller town along with it. Yeah, it was the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Might even get it done this year. Yeah. Is that going to have the electricity? Pardon? Does the pavilion plan That's a very good question. We, um, there is electricity out there, but if we want to put it in and this building comes and we decided, you know, this would be a good place for an outlet or two or whatever. Uh, yes. It's available. We would do Probably that. Scott would want some electricity there anyway, wouldn't you? Yeah, you could light up. Say yes. So, I want it there, but I mean, it's, it's a need for the community. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you have a picnic there, you want to look at your hot pot or whatever. Sure. Or if they want to make popcorn or something. <laughs> All right. I got everything covered on my list. Your list is done. Right. Everything else, John? I'm set. You're set? I'm set. Uh, any public comment? Any more addition? I just might want to add, and I have thought through this totally, but you might want to when we do rent that tent that's out there. And uh, I have 
the, the cost between renting a tent for one day and renting it for a week is like nothing, like an extra hundred dollars. So I may reach out. I don't know. I haven't yet, really. I mean, and officially to like the Conservancy or the Lake Association to see if we rented that tent for a week, would they have an event or would they have a class or would they have things that they might be able to use it for? Now, I, obviously, you guys have a final say in something like that, and I understand that. But to me, um, it's an opportunity that, that some of the community might, might use. So, anyways, I, if you have objections, just, just come. I, I'm not opposing this, but if you do, just come talk to me. And uh, we can have a, have a dialogue. I just want to say I, I see this maybe a potential for another uh, another organization uh, that can have a chat to, to utilize that plan and a little bit of no cost really. Right. Or parks and rec could utilize it. I don't think you guys are really in a position to put out a program or anything like Nothing's on our schedule. Do you have an idea of the size of that tent? Not all the Okay. <laughs> It's big. <laughs> it's a big man. I mean, you planned it on, on uh, a marriage, or <laughs> they probably work for that too. <laughs> no, I, no, I, 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 I it's, it's a big tent. And if somebody okay. wanted to, to use it for for classes or a day long, uh, I, I look at it like a day long um, learn about Lake Leonard event or something like that. Uh, thing. So. Okay. Any uh, staff comments? None. Any other member comments? We good? All right. Entertain a German motion. Motion adjourn. Popo will second it. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Right. We are adjourned. I'm just sure.